Intros are always so awkward. Okay. They're always so awkward, guys. What do I say to you guys? Hey, what's up? What's up? Hey, guys. Welcome to my channel. Um, so today, I'm in like such a weird mood. Oh, my God. So... I've been putting off this video for a while. So today I am doing plant bingo. So I have it on my phone right here. This tag was created by Becky. Um, I'll link her YouTube channel down below. She created this plant tag and she tagged Plant Me Ashley and Plant Me Ashley tagged me. So I am taking you along with me as I go to the Home Depot, which is a big box store. And basically I'm gonna be looking for the plants that are on this little list and if I get bingo then I guess I win something is that right Becky <laughs> I guess I just get a pat on the back if I get a bingo I don't know if there's a prize I doubt it but um I guess the prize is my new plant if I find like a plant that I've been looking for but basically there's all these different criteria that you need to check off on this bingo sheet and hopefully I get bingo. I've seen a few people do this video. I know James, my friend over at, what is his Instagram? Um, well, my friend James made this video as well and he went to a few different locations. I'm only going to one big box store today. I don't wanna go all around town. Like I plan on going to the mall after this and I kinda just want to stick to one store. So I am totally okay with losing. I'm probably not gonna get bingo today, but I'm just doing it for fun and I decided to take you guys along with me because I'm not gonna do this by myself. Like obviously you're coming with me. So anyway, yeah, we're gonna try to get bingo. I've seen um, Ashley's video and it was a little difficult for her. She went to like, I think four or five stores and I'm not that dedicated like I'm not gonna do that I'm going to one Home Depot we're at the Natick Home Depot in Massachusetts and this is actually the Home Depot that I found my variegated Hindu rope at I found like five or six of them so they could have a good plan they could have some unicorn plants here so I'm really excited to see what they have and we will see so we are going to head on in and I'm gonna get ready to be very embarrassed because I hate filming in public. So that will be fun and you can watch me be really cringy and awkward around other people talking to myself. Cause I was planning on doing this with a friend, but you know, I'm alone. I'm alone most of the time. I'm a, I'm a single kind of gal. Like I like doing things by myself. So yeah, big surprise in doing this alone. So anyway guys, if you're interested in watching me do this bingo, Keep on watching and we're gonna head on inside. Okay, I might actually need to grab a cart. All right, we found our first plant. String of dolphins. So this is a unicorn plant. I'm considering it because it's like you know. So we have our first plant, it's the unicorn. <laughs> and I'm taking it with me, because it's so cute and I'm so excited. Okay, let's see what else they have. They actually have all of these string of dolphins plants, which is absolutely incredible. And they all have little blooms, which are super cute. Oh my God, I'm so excited. My heart is like pumping so fast. All right, so I think I found my next bingo, underwatered succulents. These all look pretty underwatered. They're really dry. And that one's like dying. So I think we have another one to check off. This is hard to do it and hold the camera. So I already have two in a row. I'm gonna look for overwatered plants. Okay, so for this plant, I'm gonna choose who is she because I think it's so beautiful and I had never seen this before. It's called Dorothy apparently and it's a ficus pumila. But it is absolutely beautiful. It kind of reminds me of like a fern, but apparently it's a ficus. 
but it's very beautiful and I've never seen anything like this. I could just see this draping over like a pot or maybe in a hanging basket like they have it. It's absolutely beautiful. So who is she? She's just so cute, you know? Look at her leaves. Absolutely beautiful. So yeah, this is honestly a lot harder than I expected. So now I'm looking for, let's see. I just, this is very hard. I'm trying to multitask and I'm looking for overwatered plant, a hardy plant and a sale wishlist plant um, or a plant that I've killed. So let's try to find that. All right, I'm very excited about this. They have a variegated um, lemon tree, which is absolutely beautiful. Oh my God, it is gorgeous. And how much is it? I'm like shaking, I'm so excited. For $20, they have a variegated lemon tree, which is absolutely stunning. Oh my God, I love it. Okay, so I'm actually going to use this plant um, this variegated lemon tree as surprise variegation because they typically are not variegated. So we're gonna check that off. But I honestly might get this variegated lemon tree. It is so pretty and it's such a good price. And they have some that have little flower buds which are those flowers smell amazing on lemon trees, so definitely smell them if you notice buds on your citrus. And then for all these palms, that's gonna give us our tropical um, bingo, or a tropical um, spot. So we're not doing too bad so far. All right, so I think for this plant, it's safe to say that I have a bunch of Hoyas, and I have a few pots of this. Um, this is a Hoya Carnosa Crimson Princess, and I would say I do have a bunch of these at my in my collection, so I'm gonna check off. I have a bunch of these. All right, we're getting somewhere. This is a lot harder than I expected. All right, so we have two more that we need, and I think I can find it. So we need I've Killed This Before, or $2 or less. All right, so we're over at the Felnopsis Orchid area, and this gives us our next one, which is I've killed this before, and I have definitely killed an orchid in my day, a Phalaenopsis. So we just need one more, $2 or less. I hope I can find that. I think this is the cheapest, and it's $2.58, so I don't think there's any that are $2 or less. These are super tiny. Dang. So for this one, to me, this pot looks too small for this huge plant. Granted, I can't see the root system, but judging from the size of the plant, I think it needs to be repotted. So we are gonna check off pot too small. Pot too small. I think I'm gonna get this row right here. So let's look for crispy leaves and pot too big. And I'll take two. These guys probably get crispy. Got any crispy leaves? Ooh, right here. Does that count? That little tip that's crispy? Please. Calathea are the crispy ladies. How are these all perfect? This never happens. Okay. Um, I'm gonna say that counts. That's crispy. Crispy. Crispy leaves, check. Okay, so now we need pot too big and I'll take two. All right, this I think is a good example of a pot being too big. This is a lot of plants, but I feel like it would do better in a more shallow pot. And this is very deep, which succulents typically don't like. So I'm gonna say the pot is too big, even though that's full of plants, it still looks too big for the um, arrangement. But maybe I'm wrong, but you know what? That looks, look how deep that pot is. There's no way it needs that much room. So, but let me try to find another one. 
Yeah, I stand by it. These pots look way too big for these succulents. They're just so deep, so that is gonna be pot too big for these. Definitely too deep, so that's too big, right? Pot too big. All right, so I have no idea how this happened, but I actually am getting bingo right now. So I found, I know earlier I mentioned that the string of dolphins were a unicorn plant, but I'm gonna remove that, chip from checked, and because it's not in the same line as my bingo, and I'm gonna use the unicorn plant as the I'll take two because I cannot pass up this deal. Let me show you. So they have these string of dolphins and they cost ten ninety-eight. Can I show you? That is a crazy good price for this plant. And I think I'm gonna purchase one for me and my best friend because that price is amazing. I've seen super tiny ones, maybe like four inch pots, and they cost like $30 for like a four inch pot. Like look how huge this is. For $10.98, that is such a good deal. And do these smell good, these little flowers? They smell interesting. Um, they're not my favorite. They don't smell like cinnamon like the string of pearls. But um, yeah, I'm gonna take two of these. So that means we got bingo, girl. So I'll take two. And let me erase the unicorn one so you don't, guys don't say that I cheated. So I'm removing the unicorn because I don't even need that one, even though this is a unicorn plant. Um, so we can see right there that I got bingo. So what made my bingo are crispy leaves, pot too big, I'll take two, pot too small, and underwater succulent. And I did it at one store, which I'm pretty impressed with myself. I didn't think I was gonna get bingo, but I was focused and honestly, you no, know, I'm gonna talk more about this in the car because I feel crazy. <laughs> but yeah, string of dolphins at the Natick Home Depot in Massachusetts. If you're in the market, they have how many of them? One, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven. And I'm about to purchase, I think, two of them so I can get the mango and because I wanted it. So we're gonna, I'm gonna meet you back in my car because I don't like talking to myself in public. Okay, bye. I'll see you in my car. All right, guys, so we are back home. I was going to originally go to the mall, but then I realized that when I purchased my plants, they would not survive in the car considering it is about. 20 degrees Fahrenheit outside and I don't trust keeping them in the car, you know, because they'll probably freeze. But uh, these are the two plants that I purchased. So we have our string of dolphins and they smell pretty nice. They definitely smell very floral and they're beautiful. I'm very excited to give my best friend her plant. Um, <laughs> her mom is definitely gonna say that, her name is Katie actually, so let me shout her out. My girl, um, Clay Katie's Plant Babies has a channel and um, she's on Instagram as well. So I'm gonna give her my second pot of string of dolphins because she has also been looking for this plant. And her mom always says, you know, Katie has too many plants, don't give her any more, but I can't help myself. This is just such a good deal. And I'm gonna let you guys in on a little secret. So this spring slash summer, her and I are planning on doing a farmer's market table and we're really excited about it and I was like, you know what, even though both of us don't need these plants, we can definitely propagate them and use them at our farm stand in the summer. So I'm really excited to propagate these and share them with possibly some of you guys if you come to our farm stand. I'm not sure exactly which stand we will be located in. We're still doing research, but we're planning on selling plants pottery, artwork, things like that, all types of creative things. So yeah, definitely keep an eye out for that. I will post it on my social media when we have more details for you. So yeah, I'm really excited to start that with Katie. But if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you made it to the very end, can you leave a dolphin emoji? Because the dolphin succulent is what got me bingo <laughs> i'm not even sure if there is a dolphin if there isn't leave like a fish or a whale like i'm not sure i honestly have no idea what emojis there are i'm pretty sure there's a dolphin 
Um, but yeah, I really appreciate you guys watching my content. I had a lot of fun filming this and I'm going to be completely honest, like I feel like doing this type of video really helps me appreciate just like the little things when it comes to plants. I feel like we get so caught up in looking for really rare plants or looking for a specific plant and you kind of overlook all of the beauty that's around you like within like a simple plant like a pothos or just like really simple plants that you see every day so i feel like doing this video really helps me appreciate just like every type of plant that was put in front of me and um, I probably wouldn't have noticed many of those plants because I was so super focused on finding very specific traits within the plant world. Um, so yeah, it was kind of cool like just being super aware of what was around me because I feel like so many of us go, go to a plant store and we have like tunnel vision and we're just looking for maybe a specific plant or we'd want something that is new and different to kind of spark our interest. So. I definitely noticed that I was very in the moment and present during this video. <laughs> I know this sounds kind of hippy dippy, but I just really appreciated that feeling that it gave me. Like I felt like every plant was exciting and new and I don't often feel that way about plants just because I am always surrounded by them and I've been collecting them for a few years. So it's hard to get me really, really excited about plants at this point in time, like in person. Um, but yeah, I, I was surprised the Home Depot was able to make me super excited about these plants. Anyway, I'm rambling on. I need to tag some people. So for this type of video, I would love Plant a Seed with Ash to do um, a video. And let's see, let's tag one other person. Well, I would like Pam's Pretty Plants to do this video. So got two, two late, two really awesome ladies that I would love to recreate their own version of this video. So yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun filming it and I hope that you could feel the joy in my um, voice that I was just super excited. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel um, just so you don't miss out on future content. And I do have an Instagram, it's Juju Succulents. And on there, I do a lot of daily updates. So I talk about my dogs, my plants, just like my life. So if you are interested in peering into my personal life or just getting more daily updates, definitely follow me on there because I am pretty active on Instagram. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye. <laughs> the awkwardness, the awkwardness of the Home Depot. Okay. When you feel like everyone is staring at you, but literally it just looks like I'm talking to myself. What's new? Okay. I have such ADHD, it's not even funny. Okay, who made this? I need to freaking double check who started this trend. Who started this trend? Okay, of course someone's alarm is going off right now. Can you please fix your alarm so I can film, please? <laughs>